got a new iPad, you might be wondering what to do with it. Well, I'm here to answer your question. So what's up everyone, it's Dan here for Technologic. And when I got my new iPad 2017, I actually found myself thinking, I've got an iPad Air first gen, what should I do with it? Now in most cases, and this would also cover if you should buy one as well, it's sort of like a, a weird one, just to sort of clarify <coughs> the status of the device. So, <coughs> I'm, I think I'm dying. So, with the iPad Air, it's more than likely it won't get iOS 12, so if you don't have one already, don't buy one, is my advice. You're going to notice a little bit of slowdown in some places, here and there, bit of stutter, bit of lag. It's not going to be anything major, but it's not going to be anything that you're going to enjoy either. So, just don't get it if you can avoid it. If you've already got it and you've upgraded to a new iPad, my advice is, if you can, sell it on. Which is what I'm planning to do in mine quite soon, hopefully. Um, so I will hopefully be selling that on soon. If you don't need to, then you know you can use it. It is going to support most apps for another couple of years, probably. You can sort of get out of using it, and I mean you can always. If it didn't support apps for as long as we thought, you can always download older versions as well. Now, to be honest, it's. If Apple do extend the life of this iPad, I wouldn't update it to iOS 12 anyway, because it's going to kill it. But I would probably... No, sorry, I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't update it to iOS 12, because it's probably going to be stuck on 11 anyway. The, the time I can see Apple extending it will be when they have an iPad with 2 gig of RAM. So, for example, when I get to like the Air 2, or maybe the 2017 iPad, which I have now. Brilliant device. But that's off topic. Um, So, if you have one now and you want to get rid of it, I would sell it while it's up to date, because... Trust me, when it's not up to date anymore, you'll probably lose a lot of value on that. So, just sell it on why you can. It'll it'll be worth more now why it's up to date. If you have it and you're not a heavy user, keep it. Just don't bother upgrading, really. It's fine for what you're going to use it for. Daily tasks that are small. Apps like YouTube and that will run fine. If you're a heavier user, upgrade and sell it. And obviously, if you're one of those Apple geeks, just keep it in the cupboard or... Keep it for reviews if you've got your own YouTube channel on that, which I'm sure most people here probably have. I don't know. Um, even if you've never considered making videos before, try that. Or even if you want to try it, use it as a YouTube device just for putting your videos on and using it as a video camera. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but altogether, it's still quite a stable device. If you If you have a reason to keep it, keep it. If you don't need it, then like I'm saying now, just... You know, move on, get something newer, sell it while you can, and enjoy your newer iPad.